everyone, so welcome back to Get Me A Library. Today I want to talk to you about a book that I received this morning from Penguin Publishers. So I was contacted to ask if I was interested in reading this book and then just basically talking about it whether you know I liked it or not. So it's an honest opinion review and I said yes because it sounded really really good. So this is not paid, it's not you know anything, I received the book for free but obviously I have to read it and give my honest opinion. I haven't read it just yet because I received it today. Um, I'm still currently reading Harry Potter, I'm on the Half-Blood Prince. So once I've finished that book, or once I've, you know, made like a dent in it, I'm gonna give myself maybe tomorrow or Wednesday and literally just sit down and read this book for Penguin and then do a review, let you know all about it, share it on Instagram and my blog, website, etc. So I'm gonna show you the book, how beautiful it is, because I'm really, really excited to do it. It's not a YA book, I don't think. It's not really something that I normally read, but it's got that element of mystery and touching fantasy horror in it, and I'm really excited. So the book is called The Glass Woman, and this is by, sorry, I'm trying to just get it already. So this is by Caroline Lee. Just look at how beautiful. So it's coming out in February 2019, so about three months I'd say roughly, because I don't actually know the 100% date of when it's coming out. So, oh it's so pretty. So in the pack I received the book, a card that says The Glass Woman by Caroline Lee on it, and on the back it says men shall be beheaded, women drowned, and he who has taken a life will be a subject to a lifelong outrage. So this is from Gregor's Law's 12th century Icelandic law book. So that might give you a little bit of a hint to the theme of this book. Um, there was also, it came in like a bag, like a bag, um, like a packet that you put in stuff to post. It was like a bag bag and it had like little fake snow in it and it went all everywhere and I was like this is really really cool. So it comes with a little piece of card that just says thanks for reading, please use this hashtag on social media and tag these, enjoy Jen Porter. And then there is a piece of paper that tells me a little bit about the book as well. So it comes out this 7th of February so when I talk about it I can tell you guys when it does actually come out which I have and it tells you a little bit more about like what people have thought about it and a little bit about the author and also that she's available for interviews or and feature writing so perhaps you know if I want to know a little bit more about it I could message her and see what she says. So let me tell you about this book because it did actually grasp my attention and I do get asked to review some books before. I've never been asked to receive a book like this, it's always just been like an ebook. Um, and I do turn a lot of them down because they're not really my thing and it's not because I don't think I'd enjoy it, it's just I get asked a lot of like romance books and I'm not really into lovey-dovey. I love YA fantasy. I do read a little bit of YA contemporary, I do read a bit of thrillers like The Girl on the Train, Killing Kate, S for Stranger, but it just depends on my mood at that time. So this popped up and I was like, well, this cover is beautiful, the description sounded beautiful, so yes. So it's based in Iceland. John Erickson buried one wife this year. How long before he buries a second? 1686, Iceland, an isolated windslept landscape. Rosa is newly betrothed to John. The villagers look at them both with suspicion. They whisper dark threats. There is an evil here. Rosa can feel it. Alone and far from home, Rosa sees the darkness coming. She fears she will be its next victim. <laughs> so it's a rich and compelling tale of superstition, salvation, love and fear. I'm really actually excited to get into it because it does sound really good. I'm going to read you the actual blurb description that is on Goodreads as well because I did have a quick look about it before I said yes because I wanted to see if it was my thing because it sounded good but I wanted to see if there was any reviews or anyone had said anything about it that would make me not want to read it. I did fall in love with the cover so I'm being pretty biased towards it to say that you know I'm going to love it because the cover's beautiful but still. So same thing, um, 1686, Iceland, a wild isolated landscape that can swallow a man without so much as a volcanic gasp. When superstitious Icelanders are haunted by a two, all too recent memories of witch trials. Ooh. Rosa is leaving her home in Skalholt, betrothed and unexpectedly to the mysterious and wealthy John Ericsson. Rosa travels with her new husband to his isolated windswept village of Skyscope Holmer, 
Here, the villagers are suspicious of outsiders and seem fearful of Rosa. Whispers follow John around the unexplained death of his first wife, who he buried in secret in the dead of the night, and Rosa has her own suspicions. Refusing to answer any questions about his first wife, John insists Sorry, instead gives Rosa a small glass figurine, a glass for them. John feels a presence, sorry, Rosa feels a presence in the house and she can't shake the dread that darkness is coming. She fears she will be its next victim. How long before the glass woman shatters? That sounds so good. I mean, I don't know about you, but it does sound really good. It's got like that mystery to it. It's got that thriller, scary, horror kind of thing to it, but it still seems like it's a story, if that makes any sense. Um, so a few people have said haunting, utterly compelling, beautiful draw, narrative transports readers to a time and place steeped in magic and superstition where nothing is as quite as it seems, stunning. What an incredible debut, the, uh, the glass woman is, rich in superstitious, rich in superstition and mystery, mystery. This historical novel set in Iceland brought me into its bleak yet beautiful heart and held me there, utterly unputdownable. So it sounds really good, I'm really looking forward to reading it, I'm not 100% sure when I will be doing a review but I'm going to try my hardest to get into it tomorrow or Wednesday, I might even try and read it today, flip between Harry Potter. As you all know I can't read more than one book at a time so if I am going to read two books I have to literally put one book down and just focus on the other book. The good thing about Harry Potter and rereads is I have read the book before so I feel like I don't have to get straight into it and finish it because I have read it. So yes it comes out of February so I'm going to obviously do a review before February. I want to try and get it done before Christmas but yes it sounds really good writing's not really really tiny which is nice so hopefully I will gear to be able to get through with it quite quickly um, and just the last bit of information it's 384 pages long so it's not extremely t like long as well and it has a glossary which is perfect so it's going to tell me how to pronounce these words so yeah looking forward to reading it um, let me know down in the comment section below if you've heard about this book and if you are interested in reading it um, but yeah, I feel really like honoured to be asked to read it. I mean, that's all I was given, so I wasn't given anything, you know, different to say, please say it was a great book. I'm going to honestly review it myself completely. I'm going to forget that it might not be 100% my thing, like I did with Skyward, even though I didn't like it, but I really, you know, got on with it. So yes. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, comment down below if you know you've heard this book, you're interested in it, and also if you haven't heard about it and you're not interested and you still want to answer my question, let me know what you're currently reading. Like this book, <laughs> like this book, like this video if you like this video, like this video if you think this cover is absolutely beautiful, and like this video if you're enjoying your day, and like this video if you like my videos. <laughs> See you guys soon, thanks, bye! <laughs>